Today we're going to talk about the comparison of normal fluorescent tubes with LED tubes. We're looking, going to be looking at standard 1200mm fluorescent tubes, uh, which are 36 watt compared to an 18 watt LED tube. One of the advantages of LED tubes is that they have instantaneous start. What's that mean? Well, when you start a normal fluorescent light, the, the starter or the starting mechanism normally takes a while to heat the lamp because it's a discharge device, but with the LED chip it comes on instantaneously because it's from the, in, the little LED chips. That has an advantage in many applications. This is an LED tube, this is a fluorescent tube. I'd like you to watch it start. There's the LED come on instantaneously. There's the fluorescent tube come on with the delayed flicker. The other thing about uh, the two lights is that the LED chip gives you out pure spectrum white light. There's no ultraviolet, there's no infrared, there's no frequencies outside the visible spectrum. Here you've got ultraviolet and you've got infrared. The other thing about, about the fluorescent light is that if you're using this in your machinery, that can cause the effect of appearing that the machinery, a rotating machinery, is actually standing still due to the stroboscopic effect of the, of the fluorescent light. You don't have that effect with the LED. The LED tubes have a, um, a number of temperature ratings. In other words, you can buy them in a, a cool white or a normal white, or you can get them in a warm white. Uh, that is normally measured in terms of what we call a Kelvin. You can get them with a with a uh, frosted cover, or you can get them with a clear cover where you can actually see the LED LED chips. These these particular tubes are single ended. In other words, the power is driven from only one end. The other end, there's no power. It's only for mechanical support. The reason for that is is that so you won't electrocute yourself during the installation process. These particular tubes have been tested and certified by the New South Wales Department of Fair Trading to prove that they are safe in any installation. An LED tube will last you 40,000 hours. We're guaranteeing 40,000 hours. We're able to guarantee that light 40,000 hours because we know how the driver works, we know the chips that are used on the individual light, we know that the way that the light is manufactured, we actually go to the factory and make sure that it is made to our specification. The normal magnetic ballast that's used in fluorescent tubes is used as a 180 degree insulation class system. And the temperature on those particular ballast is normally in excess of 100 degrees. You cannot touch that ballast. The internals of the fitting run so hot that the ballast has gone from an initial colour of white to grey to sometimes even black. They run so hot. With the LED, with the LED uh, uh, driver, you've got a temperature rise maximum of around about 25 degrees above ambient. Uh, today we're just going to demonstrate the temperature difference between a normal fluorescent light and an LED tube. Temperature now is measuring somewhere between 69 and 70 degrees on the 1200 millimeter fluorescent tube. On the normal LED tube, we're measuring approximately 33 degrees, 34 degrees on the end. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize is that when with an LED tube, because it runs so much cooler, you will actually have savings if you are in an air conditioned environment because the effect of the heating, not only of the fluorescent tube, but also of the magnetic ballast or the ballast that actually controls the power to the fluorescent tube is getting very hot. With the LED uh, uh, driver, you've got a temperature rise maximum of around about 25 degrees above ambient. As against with a, a, a magnetic ballast, you've probably got a temperature rise of at least 80 degrees or 90 degrees above, above ambient. That is loading your air conditioning system in an office. <music>